a lot of neat aspirants do not get into MBBS. Then they think about the next best option that is dentistry. But they have no idea what BDS or dentistry is all about. So in today's video, Dr. Greshma is going to explain an overview about bachelors in dental surgery. I'm Dr. Sadish Kumar. This is Kaizen Dental. Our aim here is to help dentists succeed. Hi everyone. In today's video, I would like to talk about the eligibility criteria, fee, and in brief about what you will learn during your five years of previous life. This is a reference for anybody who would like to become a dentist in the future. So let's dive right in. I would like to begin by what PDS is. PDS stands for Bachelor of Dental Surgery. It is the only professional program that is available for dentistry in India. The BDS degree is awarded after successful completion of four years of education along with one year of mandatory internship program. After acquiring your BDS degree, you are eligible to work as a dentist in India. Let's move on to eligibility and admission process. As per the Dental Council of India, the applicant should have passed the qualifying examination of 10 plus 2 with a minimum 50% of mark with physics, chemistry and biology as the main subjects. As for the current data, there are approximately more than 300 dental colleges in India, which means a total of 26,000 seats, both in government as well as in private dental colleges. The average fee ranges from 1 to 6 lakh per annum. Now let's move on to the syllabus in brief. BDS is divided into total 5 years in which 4 years of academic education plus 1 year of your rotatory internship. First year comprise of general anatomy, biochemistry, physiology and dental anatomy. Second year subject comprises of pathology, microbiology, pharmacology and dental material. Third year subject are general medicine, general surgery and oral pathology. Now to fourth year. Fourth year consists of eight subjects in total which is entirely dental subjects. Certain universities have them divided as part one and part two in which four subjects will be taught in part 1 and the rest four in the part 2. So they will have two university exams. Certain other universities have a single university exam with eight subjects in total. So the eight subjects taught in the final year include Oral Medicine and Radiology, Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery, Prosthodontics, Periodontics, Public Health and Community Dentistry, Conservative and Endodontics, periodontics and orthodontics. If you're liking this content, please hit the like button below and share your love. More such depth description is available on the BDS Launchpad book which is available in the Amazon and the link will be in the description box below. To add some personal insight, I was completely unaware of this field until I joined and some informations were pretty new to my knowledge. The first thing that I would like to share is that the first year and second year of us will be exactly similar to the MBBS counterpart because we both will be learning the exact same thing, the basic medical science needed for our field. The first, second and third year is a mix of MBBS subjects along with the dental counterpart. So we will be learning the exact same thing our MBBS student is learning with the dental counterparts. The only difference that we have is that anatomy consists of only head and neck portion, not the rest, but rest all subjects, we are equally covering everything under the roof. The second tip would be to begin with the patient quota and the lab work. Unlike the MBBS counterpart, we have a huge amount of patient quota and lab work to be completed along with our theory classes. This specific point was quite hard for me to cope with. I was having struggle with coping with the huge amount of stress of learning the theory along with the huge hand skills needed. But with enough practice and hard work, everything can be learned. So be aware that the industry is not just theory learning, it includes a lot of hand skill as well. Third tip was the most exciting part of the industry for me, which is we start to manage patients in third year itself. We will get our first patient in third year. 
The first and second tier will be dealing with a lot of lab work on a fandom head to get that hand skill and to evolve the dexterity of our hand to treat the patient in the third year. We start by doing diagnosis, treatment planning, execution of restorations, extractions, scaling, and etc. In third year and fourth year, we have set amount of patient quota that we have to complete in order to cover different procedures and develop the hand skill necessary to become a dentist in the future. Along with the hectic patient quota, along with the huge volume of eight subjects was taunting for me. So balancing both practical and the learning aspect was quite difficult. So certain tips given in the previous video will help you with that. If you want to know if dentistry is the right choice for you, click on this video. That's all for today guys. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.